Hi, Baruch. Tell me, what you working on, buddy? Uh, so I just got into the federal business ops because I was in, no, I, no, I just heard of it from, you know, uh, a friend. Okay. And, you know, I kind of looked into it. I got hit, I know I went ahead and got started as far as, like, you know, creating LLC, stuff like that. And I'm actually in the process of registering with uh, Sam.gov. Okay. I've actually seen some of your videos on that, too. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm in the process of doing that right now. And the only, like, you know, one of the questions that I have is that um, when I do go ahead and start it, you know, because I don't really have um, specific things to kind of sell to the government. Okay. Um, I was going to, you know, kind of, I don't know if it like, but lack of better words, I, I was going to work as like a middleman kind of. Okay. And, you know, for example, if the government needs uh, computers, I know, you know, people that sell computer stuff like that, you know, whatever, like the, the, the listing is, I can go ahead and contact those people. Right. And, you know, I can arrange the price, stuff like that, and like, I can go ahead and put the offer in. Uh-huh. And then kind of like work as a middleman. I, I just don't know if that was possible or not, though. So let me ask you this. What 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 brought you to the marketplace anyways? Like, what made you interested in even doing this? I'm Honestly, I'm just, I just graduated in December, and I'm actually looking to get into something. Uh-huh. And, I, you know, like I said, I graduated with degree in economics, stuff like that. And I okay. feel like this would kind of overlap with it. Okay. And I feel like, you know, it would be a good place for me to start. You know, given that I'm quite young, right? You know, that just wouldn't hurt you know, trying things like something like this. So let me ask you this: so, you, so again, so you just graduated recently, economics degree, um, mm-hmm. and but how did you learn about the government marketplace? Like, what you know, no one when I graduate, no one told me about the government marketplace. What made you think about this as a as a potential business? To be honest with you, I. <laughs> I was watching a movie and then I saw people actually using it in the movie and I was like, "Is this real?" And then I actually went on and looked at it and then like it was something real. Uh huh. And that the movie is actually based on a true story. Have you heard of the movie War Dogs? Uh huh. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's kind of how I, you know, looked into it and then like you know I talked to a friend. He was like, "Yeah, and I've heard of it, but hey, he's never done anything as far as like you know work of the government or anything mm. like that." So, so basically, you saw the movie, it, it piqued your interest, and you're like, wait, let me find Patril. You start digging around, you saw some videos, you went on YouTube, and you, you saw some people, and then I guess somehow you ran across me. No, I, you're actually the probably the only person on YouTube that I found. Like, that's, you know, that, that kind of, like, made sense or, like, was, had, you know, uh, good videos. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Well, pro- yeah. you know, the thing is, I'm probably, and again, I don't know all those other people. There's, a, there's like, two or three people that do it, but I don't know if they actually do contracts. Like, I actually do the actual contracts. So they're more like consultants and things like that, whereas I actually, I'm teaching people things that I I do. Um, And it's funny because one of the the first homework assignments is to watch the movie War Dogs for people who don't understand how this works. So you kind of did the reverse where you watched the movie and it inspired you, and so now you're trying to figure out how how to put it all together. Um, it sounds like you still have some more, you know, some videos to watch and things like that. But I do have mm-hmm. videos on, you know, there's other sites out there besides FBO where you could start bidding contracts. So what you're trying to do in terms of being the middleman, there's like, for example, Fed Bid allows you to do that. They, there, it's an open market bid site, kind of like an eBay type system where, you know, you go out, they tell you what they want to buy, you find someone who sells it, and then you give them a price proposal. And then you, you actually submit it to them. If you're accepted, then you you know you win the job, and then you fulfill that order. And I mean, I have friends of mine that do fifty thousand dollars a year just on that site alone. I mean, in their pocket really? not revenue. We're talking about in their pocket money. Really? Okay. Do they also work on uh, federal business ops or? No, this, no, no. This, this... These are totally different sites. You've got you got to go back and watch some more videos. Um, okay. Go back and watch some more videos. But this is Fed Bid. Fedbit, okay. Yeah, so Fedbit allows you to bid in that same way. Besides that, you know, let's talk about um, some of the things where maybe you may already have some experience that you don't realize. You know, one of the things that I talk about in my consultant video is working with people that you already know that are in business and helping them. You know, if I had a chance to go back and do it all over again, and I just graduated from college, knowing what I know today, you know, one of the things I would do is start 
you know, talking to companies that are already out here working and trying to help them get contracts in the federal arena. And that's very lucrative. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, there's people out here that need, you know, because a lot of people say, well, um, you know, you don't have any experience. But if you start... But how, is, how would you go about that, though? Like, in terms of, like, for example, say I know you and you sell TVs, right? Uh-huh. But, and, you know, the government needs... Is trying to buy TV, so do I? They like, I come up to you, and like, how do I approach you? Like, do right. I say, so, so the, the first thing you have to do is you have to become familiar yourself with how this works, right? So you got to go okay. back and actually watch the videos, right? So go back and try to. Right. I'm. I won't say binge watch it, but I've had several people that I know that called me, so they've been watch binge watched my videos. So go back and try and okay. watch the videos and get a, a, a thorough grasp of the marketplace. You know, I like people that okay. come to me and say, hey, look, I watched this. I didn't quite understand that. I watched this video. I didn't, it didn't really make sense to me. You know, and then we could start having some more high-level conversations. But, you know, first thing I would say is let's go back and watch some videos so that you have a grasp of the marketplace. Once you understand the market, right, once you understand how this whole thing works, and that's why I encourage you to go through the free course, even though, you know, just so that if, in case you don't, you don't want to miss anything, so you you know when someone so that way when you are talking to people you're talking intelligently right like you know what you're going what you're saying right. and if and I and I'm confident that if you go through and watch the videos that I have online you're gonna have more knowledge than like 95 percent of the people out there because they haven't and they don't know anything about this stuff even companies that do five seven million dollars in business they don't know federal contracts and they don't have people working on everyone does not have people working on this marketplace a lot of times they heard that it's difficult they've heard that it's hard they heard that the government doesn't pay there's a lot of myths surrounding that and I go through and I answer a lot of those questions in the free course again that's why I keep in saying go through the course it's out here it's a free, so the free course is the videos itself or it's a free course go to my exactly. website and you can sign up for the free course so you know that's the first thing but Let's assume that you've done all this stuff and you've got a now now you have a grasp, a working knowledge of how this thing comes together. Once you have that, then you can take any company and approach them and say, "Hey, you know, my name is uh, Baruch and what, you know, I want to help you start getting into the federal marketplace." If you, and again, you this works when you're dealing with people who are not currently doing federal contracts. Obviously, if they're doing federal contracts, there's not really much value you can add to them. But there there are right. millions of companies around the country that are not currently doing federal contracts, and there are even some that are certified to do business with the government, but they're not doing business with the government. Um, and right. you know, there's websites that show you who those people are, right? And you can easily do that research and find out who the people are who are certified eligible to do business with the government but they don't know how mm -hmm. to actually do the market research they don't know how to do business development they're not putting themselves out there and letting the government know they exist so it's like register for any other database you just your name is just in the hat but at the end of the day you know the government you know people work with people they like people work with people they trust people work with people they know right just because your name's in a hat that doesn't mean they know like or trust you because you haven't taken the time to go out and sit with the person, meet with them, introduce yourself, let them know how you can add value to what they're already doing. So assuming fast forward, you know, three months from now, you've watched the videos, you've done the free course. If you find companies that are maybe a family friend or a friend of a friend or um, someone knows someone, if you start telling people, hey, listen, you know, I know about government contracts and I think that I can help add some value to someone's company who's looking to get in that marketplace. You start having that conversation and really quickly uh, you'll meet people that want what you offer. They'll, people will approach you and say, hey, look, uh, Baruch, I heard your friend told me that you knew about government contracts. My business has been looking to get into that arena. Do you think you can help us? And the first thing that you would do or the first thing I would encourage you to do is do market research. Again, fast forward, you've already watched the videos, so you know how to do market research. So really quickly, you can identify who are their clients, who's buying their services, and you can present that in the form of a proposal to that person. Now, again, imagine you're coming to me, and I'm a $5 million of your business, and you show me right away, within, say, a week, of all the potential clients, customers, partners, and protégés that I could work with in the federal government in my area. People are going to start listening to you. They're going to pay attention. They're going to sit up. And they're going to say, tell me more. 
And then you then you know the next step is okay. Here's all the people who that you have the opportunity, the ability to work with. Here are the agencies. The next step is let me show you how I can help you get in front of some of these decision makers and maybe qualify your company to start going after some of these contracts. Okay. Absolutely. Who's who's gonna say no that we don't want to make more money? If they're right, absolutely. So that makes if, sense. So again. It's all about the approach, but the first thing is you have to learn and become familiar and understand this stuff yourself, and then you could go out to someone and actually and be confident that you can add real value to them. Because again, market research it's it's easy to do once you know how to do it, but it's extremely valuable to people who don't have this information, and that's why if you look out there, you'll see a lot of people selling market research information for government contracts when you can easily do it yourself. Because since it is the government, it's all public information, and you can easily access that via several websites. And again, I have free videos on that. So, you know, you do the market research, that's extremely valuable to someone, anyone. I mean, I don't care if it's a $5 million company, if it's a $10 million company. The, the people who I'm working with today, they did $29 million, and they still paid someone like me to come in and do market research for them. So, again, you can do market research for the people which is a value and then once you've done the market research you can then start doing business development for them which is valuable and then the business development leads to contract opportunities which again that's where you know the rubber meets the road and where you can start get taking in some real money okay makes sense so as far as the that's yeah, that's, the, that's the like that's the overview of it that's like the the tw you know the 20 mile high overview of it without going into the actual, actual steps. Right. And as far as the, um, you know, the, you know, bidding on contracts, stuff like that goes on, you know, Fed bid and like the, also like other parties. Is that something that uh, I'll have to wait on or is it something I can also do? No, no, no. You could, you could bid on contracts on Fed bid right now. Anyone could bid on contracts on Fed bid. No, I'm saying like in terms of like, you know, do you, would you recommend that or should I... Wait. No, no, no. Again, if you can call, if you could do an eBay search, an Amazon search, a Google search, you could bid on FedBit. Okay. Very easy. All you got to do is find the product, match it up, meet the specifications, meet the requirements, find someone who sells it, and then match match the people together. So a anyone can bid on FedBit. You don't have to be registered so in Sam. You don't have to have any experience. You don't have to have any money. So do I have to match the people together, or like, how am I involved in that? Like, you know, Think or, about it. if someone, if your if your toilet breaks, you have to find someone to fix the toilet. If your right. lights go out in your house, you got to find someone to fix the lights. If you need a new roof, you got to find a roofer. Fed bid is the same thing. They're asking for specific requirements. They're asking for specific things. You then go on the internet and find the people who make it, manufacture it, supply it, and then you find out what it costs, and then you provide that to the government. Okay, and then when I provide it to the government, they accept it. Do I pay the people, and then like the government pays me, or like the again, government does uh, like? A yeah, so uh, uh, you know, again, I would encourage you to go through the free course. Like I, I answer all these questions in the course. All the time. Okay. Everything you're asking, I answer in the course. So that's why I'm trying to get you to go talk. You know, let's go talk about you know some other issues that are maybe uh, that you haven't thought through yet. So let's let's say. Let's, this is a good question. Let's say uh, you have a price for a product. The government accepts your okay. order. Now you've got to buy that product. How do you buy it? Wait, can you say that one more time? So let's say you offer to sell the government hard drives, right? Okay. You know, you want to offer to sell the government hard drives. Let's say the order is for 50 hard drives. They're $200 a piece. So now you you know how do you buy that product to sell it to the government because the government's not going to pay you up front. That's where you need to get supplier credit and vendor credit. That's where coming creating your LLC is very important. That's where mm -hmm. again you know when you create your LLC, you set up an actual business. Now you can go and become a vendor or a supplier to the people who make that product. And I have a video on that. So I think first before we go any further, I think you've got to do some more homework. Because a lot of the questions they're okay. asking, they're like elementary. And so, you know, what you want to do is get through that stuff and start asking, you know, to be able to ask me some of the tough questions out there.
Right. Okay. That makes sense. You know. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, because uh, you know, we could you could easily uh, go through and ha- and 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 resolve some of these issues, and then that way, when we you know when you get to some tough stuff, then it's like okay, now is when I need to talk to Eric because now we've got some really tough things that he didn't cover anywhere. That makes sense. Makes okay. Sense. So um, that's what I would encourage you to do. You know, go through that. Okay. And, and then. And, 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 you know, one of the things that I will say is this, and I know because you, you, you said it before, is that you're afraid. And a lot of people are afraid. Um, and that's, mm-hmm. that's probably the biggest obstacle for people to overcome. The biggest hurdle is fear. And, um, right. and so, you know, the only way that people get past their fears is what? By taking action, by actually doing stuff. So you kind of have right. to okay. start, you have to do something. Um, in order to help you get past your fear. You're not going to get past your fears um, by sitting on the sideline. You're going to have to actually get out there and participate and, 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 and do some first steps. Even if you don't know all of the steps, you've got to do some first initial steps. You got I mean, you got to go to the websites. You've got to look at the websites. You've got to look, look at what, you know, you have to click through, see how it works. Um, go through, it's kind of like playing with the stock market. You know, even if you set up a fake trader account, Go through and see how that works and some of the trades work and, you know, how you how you would feel. You can go through some of the emotions. Um, go through and, and sign up for some of these sites. Look at what do they have out there available to bid um, and then see if you can find pricing on these items that make sense. And you could track all this stuff without actually having to, to actively participate. So you can actually go through, sign up, create an account on FedBid, monitor bids like you would on Amazon or eBay, monitor the bids. Go back and find out if you could see if you can find out who makes these products and call them up and see if they will give you pricing. And that that's like a that's like a way to start overcoming some of your fears. But you can't um, be passive and just watch videos and think you're going to overcome your fear. It's not going to work. Right. Of course, I'll be honest. Of course with you. I mean, trust me, everyone has this issue. Everyone at every level. We we have we all have fears. I have fears. Um, right. They're different fears. But at every level, we all have fears. But we, you know, once you've been successful a few times, and you, you know, then you start to figure out that it kind of works itself out. Comfortable with it. Yeah, you get you get more com- you get more and more comfortable with it, and you see how it works out. Even though you don't know exactly how it's going to work out, because you've been in situations before that you didn't understand why they were happening and what was <laughs> happening, and you mm-hmm. saw that it worked out, you kind of know. Like back in the back of your mind, you're like, you know what? I don't really see my way out of this, but I know it's going to work out at the end. Um, but it takes you right. going through those events, going through um, that and having that experience before you can start, you know, like maturing and saying, you know what? This isn't so bad after all. Like, like this is where, you know, the magic starts to happen. Right. Okay. All right. So, but sense. you've got to try it. You have, you absolutely 100%. If there's anything I'm going to leave you with today, is you have to try it. Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's, um, because I'll the that, funny yeah. thing is, you saw the movie War Dogs, right? Mm-hmm. Did you go on YouTube right. and see the actual video footage? Say it again. Okay. You saw War Dogs. Right. Absolutely. Yes. But did you see the actual video footage of the real Senate hearing? Oh, no. I actually didn't. Yeah. So you can go on YouTube, right? And you can mm-hmm. see, you know how you turn on C-SPAN and CNN and they're like the people in Congress right. are on TV? Right, right. You could go on YouTube and see the war dogs, actual guys in the Senate, people having the hearing, discussing this. Okay. So you can actually see, like, you know, not forget the movie part. You can see it on YouTube, the actual, where they're, these guys are in there testifying in front of Congress and they're like, uh, you guys... Why did you guys lie to the government? You know, they're like being, they're like on trial, like how Mark Zuckerberg was on trial recently for Facebook. They're right. literally on trial, uh, talking about how they defrauded the government. So it's just some, it's just interesting right. history to watch. But yeah, you can actually go and find that coverage on YouTube as well, just to let you know that this, I mean, it's real. It's not like this is based on a movie. You know, this movie's based on right. this is this because of technology. We now have the footage to go back and actually watch it and see where. This, these people are on trial with Congress and defending themselves for lying to the government. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I'm, you know. Say um, it, uh, that- try, go through again. I would encourage you to watch some videos, do some of the steps, um, take the free course, 
and become, you know, become a little bit more comfortable with it so that it will ease mm. some of your fears. Because again, the more knowledge you have, you know, when people ask you what's your name, how old you are, you're not afraid because why? You know this stuff. Become right. more familiar with the government world and you'll know it just as well as you know computers, just as well as you know Google or Amazon or video games. Right, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. How long would you say it takes, you know, to actually like, you know, get ahead, go ahead, get started, finish all that, and like, you know, start making just like, you know, decent amount of income through this. Again, all these questions I answer in the free course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, uh, my apologies on that. Hey, again, you know, listen, all these, de these are, these are very Clearly common have questions that I answer in the course, you know, the, yeah. but, uh, since you do have me on the phone, we've got, a, you know, a couple more minutes, you know, there's really no timeline. I have people that have been award contracts in months. I have people that, that, you know, they take years because they're not doing, they're not actually doing anything. They're thinking that by signing up and registering that that's all they have to do. And that's so far from the truth. Yeah, absolutely don't agree with that. You know, so it depends on how active you, you, you are at this. You know, I have some college students of mine that, you know, I, I spoke with them. And a few months later, they want a contract to sell like a, a telescope to the government. Okay. So, you know, yeah. I mean, again, it just depends on yourself. I mean, if you're if you're looking right. at FedBid every day and you're actively bidding jobs on FedBid, I, I would imagine within four to six weeks, you'll have a contract. Okay. All right. But again, that's if you're actively doing it. Right. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not just saying it just to, you know, you know, say it, but I'm actually like, you know, looking to actually do this, you know, full on, you know, like as, oh, that'd be great. as long as, you know, as long as it's needed. Listen, you know, let me I, tell you I, something. We yeah. can, the government can use young people coming into this marketplace. Right. Okay. So, so that, you know, the beauty is, you know, what I would say with your youth, youth coupled with a seasoned company, I think you guys could do some really great things together. That's where, that's okay. where I would, uh, that's where I would see your strengths because I know companies that do, that make a lot of money that would love to have someone that had the energy and the vigor to go after federal contracts on their behalf. I know, I know, I know several companies like that, like that I know. Okay. So I could imagine if I know some in my own circle, there's got to be hundreds or thousands more out there, wherever you live, where you're there, at, exactly. there's, they're out there. So, right. Okay. Exactly. So start, learn, start learning the marketplace, I you know, you start, you know, understanding it and then you'll, you know, you'll, you'll start to grow inside and you'll start seeing opportunities for yourself. Okay. Okay, exactly, exactly. And then for the, uh, the you know, the Fitbit, stuff like that, to actually go ahead and, do I need some kind of, uh, you know, like a written document, something like that? Because like, I remember, like, in one, when I was watching one of, your, one of your videos, you said to, you know, shoot you an email so you can go ahead and, like, you know, email us some documents. But that was for... Uh, right, but you're not, but you're not there up. yet. You're not, you're not there yet. Hey, I'm not there yet. Okay. All right, Brooke, listen, I've got to go, buddy. I hope I was able to answer some questions for you today. Absolutely, um, yeah. Thank you so much, Eric. I know you. I know you're busy. I yeah, no, no, no worries, man. Listen, I want to, uh, you know, a lot of times what questions you have, other people have the same questions out there. So that's why I'm starting to do this now because, again, I'm trying to, you know, uh, help people, by, you know, by listening to other, other, other third-party stories. So your story can help someone. Other people's stories can help you as well, vice versa. So, all right, buddy. Okay. Exactly. All right. Thanks. All right, thank hey, you. look, no, I hope to see no, you in the we'll, course we'll, we'll soon. Keep in okay. Say it again. I hope to see you in the course. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm actually okay. going to be on it sometime. You know, today, if not, definitely. Yeah, tomorrow. just go to my website, scorecontract.com. Yeah, click on free course, sign up, and you'll start receiving the emails. Okay. Okay. All right, buddy. Talk to you thank soon. You so much, thank you so much.